Well, the brand new state-of-the-art expansion of the UW School of Veterinary Medicine is almost complete. To mark the occasion, a new piece of public art was installed on campus. Veterinarian John Hallett is a UW alum of both undergrad and vet school, and he's also an accomplished artist. He created a bronze sculpture depicting the iconic moments in the journey of a veterinary medical student. It tells a story about the spirit of education, research, and community at the UW School of Veterinary Medicine. So each level depicts a different year of veterinary school. So the first year is on the first level, second year, third year, and fourth year on the top. There are also research activities depicted because the school has a, um, a worldwide research function as well. And um, so, for example, um, Taylor here is a uh, DVM PhD student and doing research in Uganda. Um, with chimpanzees and, um, and we've got some other research activities as well as things that, that uh, alumni felt were iconic for each year of veterinary school. My art career basically started in high school uh, with three years of art metal at Madison West and one year of sculpture and ceramics and then I've continued um, with art, my art practice throughout veterinary school and I think my art practice informs my veter veterinary practice as well just with eye hand coordination and and um, surgery is is kind of an art. Yeah it is. What was the inspiration for this sculpture? Well really we want to we want to increase the bond that people have with the school so I interviewed students, faculty, staff, and alumni to get ideas about what was iconic about each year of veterinary school and incorporated those ideas into the sculpture. So then I had students model, current students model for the different figures. There are 17 uh, figures of people on the sculpture. And uh, so they're gonna come back and know that they had a role um, that they're depicted in the, in the sculpture. And, and many, many people had ideas that, that are, implemented in the sculpture so now this is a sculpture made out of what this is bronze so I sculpted in um, started with styrofoam core and then oil clay and and then the lost wax process involves making a silicone mold of every bit of it casting it in wax so we have a wax duplicate of this and then another mold making process where the wax is melted out and the bronze is poured in and then reassembled and welded together. So it's a very long process. And how does it feel to have this being installed today? Oh, this is incredible. I never, I never thought I would have a piece of art here on campus, let alone at the vet school. And to have this being installed today is really, really exciting. Look at the so. details you have. You have a badger, of course. Oh yeah, Bucky's there. Well done. You For got sure, yeah. And, and what is, what is this with the animals walking up the ladder? So we've actually got a DNA strand here. Oh, wow. Um, made up of uh, different animals that depict the, the base pairs of DNA. I and, love it. Uh, and then there's a, uh, a crane that's um, splicing the DNA. So that's a reference to CRISPR or, or uh, gene splicing. Um, we've got the tomotherapy unit that uh, Scout uh, was in a Super Bowl commercial. Right. Oh, of and, course, um, right. So Scout's depicted oh, that's in, Scout. front of the, in front of the tomotherapy unit there. Um, and my self-portrait is uh, around on the side here. I was r rather known for falling asleep when I sit down. So, <laughs> I was just um, going to say, you look yeah, exhausted. Yeah. But, I mean, vet school is hard. Hard work is hard, yes. and uh, I think that's important to depict. And who's on the top? So we've got four students on the top. Um, that are uh, being congratulated by the animals. Kind of the theme of this whole piece is people helping animals and animals helping people. And uh, so the horse and the cow are depicted on the open books that'll be in front of it, jumping out of the books to help the students. Um, and then we've got animals congratulating the students uh, and they're wearing medallions signifying their completion of veterinary school and graduation. Um, on the top, so. Oh, that's um, beautiful. This is incredible. You've thought of everything. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. What a it's... gift for the university and, and just for yourself. Absolutely.
The move-in process, by the way, in the new Vet Med building will begin later this year, and then the first two floors of the new addition are expected to be open in March. The project also includes a new covered area for large animals that's going to open at the same time. Dr. Hallett and his wife Heidi, who is also a UW-Madison veterinarian, run the Hallett Veterinary Hospital in Oconomowoc. You can learn a lot more about this expansion project at Animals Need Heroes 2. Dot com. And you can see it, it's in the courtyard. There's going to be a big courtyard uh, between the old building and the new building. Well, they needed and, a new building. And that's where it'll be, yeah. yeah pretty but, impressive. And, I mean, you have to take some time and, and mm -hmm. learn about the stories of everything, yeah, but it's the whole four yeah, years. Pretty cool. What a project. Yep.